everybody. I hope you're all doing good on the wet, dreary Thursday here in the tri-state area. Anyway, welcome okay. to Thursday Thoughts at 3 as Jackie tries to tag herself. I think you are tagged. We always go through this. Yes, we always go through this. Right. We have not learned our lesson are we yet. we tagged? We are tagged. Um, anyway, right. um, hi everybody. I can't even see who says Robert. Hi watching. Robert, how are you? Okay guys, so here it is. Our topic of the day. We plan and God laughed. Oh God, yes. That's, a, that's an old Yiddish proverb for those who don't know. Man plans and God laughs. Because it only goes to show that no matter how hard you plan, something happens. And we've discussed many times putting together journals and calendars and how to get our acts together. And today was a perfect example for Susan and me. True. So we actually had something to do this morning. I don't know if you've been following us, but we do. We are doing a production called Live with the Vibe. And this morning we're supposed to do one of our tapings for one of our shows. Boom. <laughs> Boom. One of our, one of the four colleagues, her back went out and a number of other things. So we had to stop production today, but we always know there's a reason for everything. So, like I said, God plans. Right? Because it really no, gave us... men plan. Man plans. God right. plans. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess he plans for us. Yeah. Now, so, yes. I was going to say ladies plan, but we don't plan much better, do we? <laughs> no, but anyway, the point is, sometimes things... You know, you plan something and it just doesn't go as you expect. For example, I know you're all watching us and saying, Hey, you're supposed to be in a car today. Were you planning to see us in a car? No car. That's what we're Another not plan car. that fell apart for today <laughs> based on the first plan of the day for taping that fell apart. Oh but I do have to say, we always still figure out a way. So instead of the taping, we did a Zoom meeting and did three and a half hours of a really practical, much needed meeting. And the truth is when God took over for us, probably was the best thing because we weren't as prepared as we should have been. Right. We weren't as prepared as we were the first couple of episodes that we had already taped. So um, you look for the silver lining. Thank right? you, Robert. Yes. Yeah, so we are. So this anyway, so it was great. It was a great meeting that we had and it really prepared us. And because we're actually launching soon and we needed to get things done. We needed to get move forward with our marketing material. We need to move forward with all this stuff and the oh, production yeah. and so forth. Yeah. So it was really meant to be. It was a blessing. It was a blessing. And we always find other things to do and you find the good in it and you just propel, as Susan says. Right. You pivot, you propel yourself forward. It's about letting go. You know, sometimes we get so frustrated that this is it, this is what I wanted, and we can't redirect our thoughts and say, okay, there's a reason for everything, and right. everything in life is given to us to teach us a lesson. Hi, Eve. How are Hi, you? Hi, Eve. It's teach us a lesson. So the lesson was, like, don't rush into our production. What We weren't ready for it. We weren't. But somebody got in there to give us that message. Right. So we always have to listen for the signs and every time things just don't work out as planned, don't get frustrated. Take it as a lesson. What is the lesson that you learned today? Right? Right. And I wouldn't have learned it if we moved Hi, forward. Hi, Irina. Hi. I would, right? We right. would not have learned it if we went forward. We right. would have regretted it. I think so. Yeah. It was all good. It's all good. So. What other things can you think about where, you know, you plan? I could think about, all right, for what I do for a living, you plan to get married. Right. You plan to say your vows till death do you part. You plan on a family. You plan on a life. You plan on buying the house. You know what? Doesn't always work out that way. No. So how do you redirect and make the best of what you have? I think the first step is to just take a breath. Right. Take a breath. Stop for a moment. Be aware of what's going on and mm -hmm. don't react. Yeah. The reacting. Oh, isn't that the truth? It's always the truth. The reaction. When the amygdala takes over and the more you let it take over, the more it takes over. It's this cycle. Yes. And then eventually you totally lose the ability 
to react in a way that's constructive. It becomes right. destructive, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And like when you react, the person is going to react and you react to that. And then it becomes a vicious cycle Very of reaction. Much so. Very much so. So it's about breaking the cycle. Totally. And not getting sucked in. I like that. You like that one? Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> sucked in is a good thing. Yeah. I, I'm thinking about all these things as we're having this conversation. Getting sucked in. How often do we get sucked into negative people in our lives? That's another big one. Oh, totally. And I don't mean just spouses. I mean relatives that we engage in. Holidays are coming up. I know it's far away, but it's already the beginning but of But you know October. why they're in your life. They're in your life and you engage. To teach you a lesson. Yeah. God puts them there <laughs> again. To teach you. Yeah, totally. Hi, hi, Mo. Be flexible and open-minded and keep moving. Yes. With, I can't see the I rest of your... I what this little You're thing on is a little here. arrow for us, hi, Mo. Oh, now we see everybody keep there. Keep moving okay. with love. That is totally true. So that is really a big part of it, but it's it's... Trying to keep that positive momentum, not that we're not allowed to feel it. Right. You gotta feel it. You, you have can't... to feel it, you have to accept it, because only when you accept it that you can stop it and become aware. Yeah. Right? It's awareness. But it really is true about thinking about um, how to react to people and things around us and not get right. sucked in. Right. We were just actually talking about clients this morning. Mm. And like sometimes the clients, you know, react and they have to contact us with an issue. But we did both, I, you know, they have similar responses that we don't respond right away. Because we know that with our clients, if they had a moment to think about it, they'll know the answer. Right. And as coaches, really, it is not our job to give our clients the answer. We ask the questions that elicit the responses so they can think for themselves because each mm. client has a different journey. Correct. There's no one right answer for anybody. But sometimes we always get back to our clients, but giving them the ability to stop and think on their own for themselves is so huge. Because today, coincidentally, another thing is we had each of us had a, a, a client in um, crisis mode. For lack of better words, and um, because we were tape tape taping, taping <laughs> oh, sorry about that. We we're supposed to be taping. Taping. Uh, <laughs> we couldn't get back. It's like, and our clients do know that you know we have clients during the day, and we promise to get back by the end of the day. But the truth is, sometimes the longer we wait, not only do they come up with their own solution. Right. But it's probably a, a, the best solution for them. Right. It kind of puts them into their intuitiveness, you know. Yeah. We need people to, you know, listen to their wisdom. You know, you always hear the large negative talk, inner talk, and you don't hear your wisdom. We all have it in yeah. it, but yeah. we choose to hear it or not. And, right. you know, again, it's, it's always a way of God guiding us, or the universe guiding us, or the spirit is guiding us. Whatever, whatever our higher... Yeah. <laughs> being is right our spiritual leader call it what you want the light you know right. it depends who exactly exactly yeah. so i mean there is a larger plan out there and it's not up to us to guide it's kind of like somebody once explained to me it's like um if you have a plan to do something you have to put it it's like a gps system you have to put the direct the where you want to be and when and then the next mm -hmm. thing is to take action. When you go in action, then it tells you go right, go left, go right. But if you happen to rear, rear off the road. Rear off. We're both having a problem with words okay. today. That, a word problem. That's an issue. Word retrieval. <laughs> Hi, Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. So if we tend to no. go off the road. Thank you, Heimel. Well, Susan and I, it's been one of those days. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, so, you know, even if we go off the road for whatever reason, mm -hmm. God will take us back. The GPS will take us back to where we're supposed mm -hmm. to be, and he'll put people in there or obstacles in our way to make sure we get back to where we need to be. Right. It's also like the 12-step programs. Think about that. Thanks, Jonathan. They always talk about the higher power. Yes. And, you know, sometimes just, again, getting into your thinking brain or just not a reactive brain. Mm-hmm allows that to happen and that's when the clarity comes in right and again i think that's what happened for us today yeah we're still a little flustered obviously <laughs> but we would never not do thursday thoughts we at three because that's an important three. commitment we make right and with that said you know we're, we're gonna have to sign off soon but you know keep following us because our new show will be coming about 
it'll live be live with the vibe launching to, it'll be three weeks from today october 24th at noon on live with the vibe youtube and if you are local in new jersey we are going to be sending out uh, an invite to those for a launch party which we're very excited about it'll be uh morgan stanley in Paramus. In so Paramus. if any of you want to be invited and susan and i don't have your email addresses or you're not sure please feel free send either one of us at jackie j-a-c-q-u-i at betterpathtodivorce.com or or susan greif nope wrong one <laughs> art men's hearts at gmail.com either one of us and we'll get you on the email list we would love yes. to see you it's going to be a fun night of a Q&A for the panel. Right. There's going to be mocktails and pass arounds all hosted by Morgan Stanley. So we're very excited and we would love for you to join us if you're in the area. Just get us your email address so we can get an invite out to you. Well, thank you so much for watching. And again, never forget, man plans, but God laughs. Laughs. So with that, everybody, Thank you, Heimel, and have a great day. Stay dry and peace, peace out. out.